and just like that, we back at it. Rise and shine. Top of the morning. Yeah, either way, fresh out the barber chair. Y'all know just like every time I gotta I gotta dodge the press, I gotta dodge TMZ dog. Like they outside asking about, you know, what was I doing in the Beverly Hills mansion last night? And you know, they saw me over in Hollywood Hills in the gated community. Then they saw me in Bel Air just chilling with a couple people I can't say because I signed an NDA. And they were asking me about my taper and like, how is it so fresh and crispy every time? Why do you get a haircut every week? You know, just a bunch of shit. And I'm just like, bro, I honestly don't have the time today. So if you could just let me get to my car. Um, yeah, I can catch you guys next time. Maybe when I have, you know, some more space. But right now I got shit to do. So either way, uh, yeah, fresh out that chair, beamed up. Why did I get a cut so soon? You might be wondering. Well, you can't go wrong looking fresh, but also we have another shoot. It's almost like the same plot as last week's vlog, except last week when I went and shot for my boy EA for the model pics, we ran out of camera storage before we got to my stuff. So I'm like, dang, I gotta spin the block. So we're spinning the block today. That's in a couple hours. But before that, I'm gonna hit a thrift store. I haven't been thrifting in a minute. Spring and summer is around the corner. Graphic tees, um, the little button up, short sleeve joints, camp collar shirts. Uh, maybe some baggy denim getting lucky you feel me there's a bunch of shit like that that we looking for and yeah i got a couple hours to kill so let's get it let's get it let's get it let's go yeah man thrift was a bust i walked in there you ever walk in the thrift bro and it's like the first thing you see is just so ass you like yeah they don't got shit so I went through every single row and section, nothing bro, not a shirt, not any pants of course, nothing. So either way, about to go get a matcha and then I'm about to head to EA studio to do this shoot. I just came and revisited where I lived this past summer. Um, for those of y'all that don't know, I transferred schools this past year. So the first two years I moved out to California, I was in a city called Azusa and it's kind of out the way, I ain't gonna lie, like it's not close to the beach, it's like 30. 30 minutes east of um, LA, but I do like this mountainous area over here. I lived specifically over here um, during the summer and it's it's smooth, bro. Like it's kind of out the way, like I said, but it's real quiet, real peaceful. You got good views from the mountain. You can see everything. Um, and yeah, I was in the area. So I'm like, that's some weird shit I do though. Like I'll always go back and visit places I used to live or like I spent a lot of time. So today I'm like, I might as well just roll through. I got some time to kill and you know see what's up back to the stew man photo shoot went smooth um just got a tie t2 that shit bust so about to just edit these flicks about to do a little bit of probably like editing and design work past uh traffic because you know that shit is crazy right now and then we'll head back to the crib i don't even know what i'm doing tonight probably get some dinner and go from there All right, man, here with my boy EA. This is who I've been going to see uh, for the model shots. Model with his brand last week. Model my brand today. Pictures turned out crazy. Going on the IG tomorrow for this drop. EA, who are you, man? What you do? I'm not a photographer. I'm a designer. I do graphic design. I do all types of different design, creative direction, and stuff like that. But, yeah. Yeah. Bet. And... Where are you trying to take No Name, bro? No Name is his brand, super yes. dope. Where are you trying to take it, bro, when it's all said and done? I'm really trying to give people a new perspective on 
the current time and like date back to like the 90s so i want to really like get super in depth into like denim and bottoms and outerwear and stuff like that taking like inspiration from like fubu and carl kanai and stuff like that and really like turn it into a new perspective of the 90s if that makes sense yeah but play with a little more shapes and different textures and all kinds of stuff like that definitely for sure that's real hey y'all Y'all should see what the fuck this nigga got going, bro. This shit is actually insane. I can't even show y'all because, you know, we got some, we're going to have some biters for real, but crazy. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, for real? That's crazy. This nigga innovative as hell. I just caught these off my boy right now, actually. These is crazy, y'all. Uh, crazy. Big pockets, too. A lot of utility in those. Wide leg, of course. All right, man, just scooped up the wifey. About to get some dinner. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten a meal for like eight hours. So, yeah, let's get it. Why keep you hiding where the sun is dark? It's under fine want to know where you are. Why keep you hiding where the sun is dark? The sun is dark. All right, y'all, we back to the crib. About to go get this lift in. I really don't feel like lifting, but I still got some excess energy and it's like midnight, so, you know, I want to be able to go to sleep. So let's go ahead and get the sweat in. About to jump rope and hit arms, and then we're going to call it a night. some sweatpants for the summer a little bit lighter weight fabric this is the process of me bringing something bringing a vision to life my manufacturers will send me these fabric swatches of different weights and different materials that I'm interested in and essentially I get to pick whatever colors I want and I'll do that and then I'll put it in my procreate app to do the mock-ups and as you can see I have so many mock-ups over the past year it's crazy and um, I'll do all the details like sizing measurements you know the colors I choose and other stuff too tags everything placements of where the design goes all that it's a lot more detail than you think I would show you but I can't have somebody run off with all my sauce and all my measurements you know but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty detail-oriented process. And then after that, I'll send the finished mock-up to my manufacturer, pay the sample fee, and then they'll get to work on it. And then in about, depending on the garment, a week and a half or two weeks, they'll send it back to me complete. And typically, I'm not gonna lie, I always have some changes to make. Very rarely do I get something back the first time and I'm like, oh yeah, this is beautiful, this is perfect, let's go. So I'll make some changes if needed and then resample or if it is perfect, I'll receive that bulk order. I'll receive the bulk order. I'll receive that sample if it's perfect, I'll place that bulk order, put that money up and then they'll start working on the hundreds of units that we're ordering. So that's kind of a little breakdown of the process. I can't really show y'all everything cause it's not really that exciting. Like I can't really show y'all me texting my manufacturer back and forth, I'm just sitting on my phone really. but. Uh, yeah, this is what I do probably like four or five nights out the week. I mean, I'm talking to them every day, but I'm only designing probably about four or five nights out the week. 
Um, I'm trying to get more consistent on that, like sitting down, taking out that hour or two like every day to design. But as of right now, I've been slacking a little bit because I'm somebody who really only like sits down to design when I have something that I want to make, you know. But I think I'm going to get in the habit of just sitting down and just trying to let things come to me. And if nothing comes, then, you know, wrap it up. But if something comes, then, you know, we'll, we'll make it a reality. And, yeah.